Welcome to The Life, an e-news media presentation. I'm Andy Cohen. And I'm Paul Romano. We hope you enjoy this glimpse into the life of Brooklyn Friends School. According to educational consultant Dr. Nora Highland, children from a very young age internalize messages about power and privilege with regard to gender, race, ethnicity, class, sexual orientation, and language, which they perpetuate through their play and talk. While families are a critical piece in shaping children's values on such matters, classroom practices communicate and reinforce strong, subtle, and repeated social messages about what is and is not valued. Accordingly, Brooklyn Friends Preschool, since 2012, has implemented a social justice unit across the program that culminates with an annual Martin Luther King celebration tradition. How do you teach the values Dr. King stood for in an age-appropriate way? It can be a little difficult sometimes. We'll start by reading very age-appropriate books, and we talk about the color of our skin. We say to them that there, a long time ago there weren't rights for people with darker skin, that we had to use separate bathrooms, we had to go to different schools, we had, couldn't eat at the same restaurants, and I would talk to them about things that we do in the classroom. Suppose we came into school one day and I said only children with curly hair could play in the block area, but the rest of you could not play in the block area. They get that concept very quickly and they say, that's not fair. They say it right away, that's not fair. We talk about what they understand about what they look like, what makes them different from their friends, what makes them the same as their friends. And then we move on and talk about how, well, how would you feel if this happened to you? So we talked about how to be fair, how to be kind, how to be inclusive, um, that recognizing when f rules are unfair and what you can do about it when, that you can be a change maker even if you're a child. Or you can raise your fingers. What do your students learn from the experience of preparing for and participating in the event? Our class focused on making signs, kind of in the vein of protest signs. We thought a lot about making our own voices heard, and that's a way we can be allies for other people. If you ask a four-year-old, like, what do you care about? Like, that's a big question. But narrowing it down to what are your dreams for the world is a way to help them frame it so that they can um, generate ideas more easily around it. Change can be small. It mm -hmm. doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be... Dr. King standing in front of a lot of people making a speech, like that's all wonderful, but there are little things that you can do just within your own community, so we try to talk about it in that way too. Mm -hmm. so. I feel like they learned that they could actually be change makers as well. Like we talked about Ruby Bridges, we talked about Ron McNair, who were also children and changed the rules. So they feel like um, it definitely teaches them that they can be change makers at their age, you know, if there's a rule that's unfair. We promote that kind of um, awareness about social justice as well as the community. Yeah, they are like internalizing little by little and day by day.
have you learned from your students about social justice? The unexpected part for me, I think every year, is seeing how their faces fall when they hear about unfairness. Many people expect them to be kind of hearing it and then not paying attention to it or not want to do something about it or stand up for fairness. And um, then I'm encouraged to know that here at the next generation wanting to make sure that they can make changes that are better for everybody and not just for some. Children come with a lot of knowledge from home, but as they make connections and look at each other and learn about what's fair in the classroom and what might be not fair in the world, that there's a lot of learning and growth that takes place. A mother came to me and said, my son told me, my teacher says I have a light. I was so moved by that. You know, this is a quiet child and I didn't know that that had meant something to him. And so to have that reflected back, to know that he heard me and he knew that I see him as important and that he has a light was so valuable. So I want to thank everybody. We're going to get ready to go upstairs, but I want to say a special thanks to our teachers and a special thanks to Sharon Carter for starting this celebration seven years ago. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, all of the teachers. Thank you, everybody that's with us. Thank you, Arinthia, and everyone who's with us today. And we're going to march back to our classrooms quietly as we hear Dr. King. Right? So we're going to be very quiet. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today. Dr. King said, the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. And from all accounts, Brooklyn Friends School strives to live up to this standard from the start. This is Chelsea P. reporting for The Life. Thank you for that report, Chelsea. And as Dr. King exemplified, let your life speak. <laughs>